In transcendental number theory, the Lindemann Weierstrass theorem is a result that is very useful in establishing the transcendence of numbers. It states the following. In other words, the extension field E alpha 1 E alpha n has transcendence degree n over an equivalent formulation. Baker 1990 chapter 1, theorem 1 1.4 is the following. This equivalence transforms a linear relation over the algebraic numbers into an algebraic relation over, by using the fact that a symmetric polynomial whose arguments are all conjugates of one another gives a rational number. The theorem is named for Ferdinand von Lindemann and Karl Weierstrass. Lindemann proved in 1882 that E alpha is transcendental for every non-zero algebraic number alpha, thereby establishing that π is transcendental. See below. Weierstrass proved the above more general statement in 1885. The theorem, along with the Gelfand-Schneider theorem, is extended by Baker's theorem, and all of these are further generalized by Chanuel's conjecture. Topic: Naming convention. The theorem is also known variously as the Hermite-Lindemann theorem and the Hermite-Lindemann-Weierstrass theorem. Charles Hermite first proved the simpler theorem, where the alpha i exponents are required to be rational integers and linear independence is only assured over the rational integers, a result sometimes referred to as Hermite's theorem. Although apparently a rather special case of the above theorem, the general result can be reduced to this simpler case. Lindemann was the first to allow algebraic numbers into Hermite's work in 1882. Shortly afterwards Weierstrass obtained the full result, and further simplifications have been made by several mathematicians, most notably by David Hilbert and Paul Gordon. Topic: Transcendence of E and π. The transcendence of E and π are direct corollaries of this theorem. Suppose α is a non-zero algebraic number, then α is a linearly independent set over the rationals, and therefore by the first formulation of the theorem E alpha is an algebraically independent set, or in other words E alpha is transcendental. In particular, E1 equals E is transcendental. A more elementary proof that E is transcendental is outlined in the article on transcendental numbers. Alternatively, by the second formulation of the theorem, if α is a nonzero algebraic number, then 0, alpha is a set of distinct algebraic numbers, and so the set E0, E alpha equals 1, E alpha is linearly independent over the algebraic numbers and in particular E alpha cannot be algebraic and so it is transcendental. To prove that π is transcendental, we prove that it is not algebraic. If π were algebraic, π i would be algebraic as well, and then by the Lindemann Weierstrass theorem E π i equals minus 1 C Euler's identity would be transcendental, a contradiction. Therefore π is not algebraic, which means that it is transcendental. A slight variant on the same proof will show that if α is a nonzero algebraic number then sin alpha, cos alpha, tan alpha and their hyperbolic counterparts are also transcendental. <laughs> P-adic conjecture Modular conjecture An analog of the theorem involving the modular function J was conjectured by Daniel Bertrand in 1997, and remains an open problem. Writing Q E2 pi i tau for the gnome and J tau. J Q. The conjecture is as follows. Q 
Topic: <laughs> Lindemann-Weierstrass theorem. Topic: <laughs> Proof. The proof relies on two preliminary lemmas. Notice that lemma B itself is already sufficient to deduce the original statement of Lindemann-Weierstrass theorem. Topic: <laughs> Preliminary lemmas. Proof of lemma A. To simplify the notation set n 0 equals 0 n i equals k equals 1 i m k i equals 1 r n equals n r alpha n i minus 1 plus j equals gamma i j 1 i r 1 j M I beta N I minus one plus J equals C I display style begin aligned and N underscore zero equals zero and N and N underscore I equals sum no limits underscore K equals one carrot I M K and N I equals one L dots R and N equals N underscore R and N and alpha underscore N underscore I one plus J equals gamma I underscore J and n one leq i leq r one leq j leq m i and beta underscore n underscore i one plus j equals c i end aligned. Then the statement becomes k equals one n beta k e alpha k does not equal zero. Display style sum underscore k equals one carrot n beta underscore k e carrot alpha underscore k n e q zero. Let p be a prime number and define the following polynomials. F i x equals n p x minus Alpha one P X minus Alpha N P X minus Alpha I Display style f underscore i x equals frac l caret n p x alpha underscore one caret p c d o t s x alpha underscore n caret p x alpha underscore i. Where is a non-zero integer such that alpha one alpha n Display style l alpha underscore one l dots l alpha underscore n are all algebraic integers. Define i i s equals zero s e s minus x f i x d x display style i underscore i s equals int underscore zero caret s e caret s x f underscore i x d x. Using integration by parts, we arrive at i i s equals e s j equals 0 n p minus 1 f 
I J zero minus J equals zero N P minus one F I J S Display style I underscore I S equals E carrot S sum underscore J equals zero carrot N P one F underscore I carrot J zero sum underscore J equals zero carrot N P one F underscore I carrot J S where N P minus one Display style N P one is the degree of f i display style f underscore i and f i j display style f underscore i caret j is the jth derivative of f i display style f underscore i this also holds for S complex. In this case, the integral has to be intended as a contour integral. For example, along the straight segment from zero to S, because minus e s minus x j equals zero n p minus one F I J X display style e caret s x sum underscore j equals zero caret n p one f underscore i caret j x is a primitive of e s minus x f i x Display style e caret s x f underscore i x. Let us consider the following sum. J i equals k equals one n beta k i i alpha k equals k equals 1 n beta k e alpha k j equals 0 n p minus 1 f i J zero minus J equals zero N P minus one F I J alpha K equals J equals Zero N P minus one F I J zero K equals one N beta K E alpha K minus K equals one N J equals zero N P minus one Beta K F I J alpha K equals Minus K 
equals 1 n j equals 0 n p minus 1 beta k f i j alpha k display style begin aligned j underscore i and equals sum underscore k equals 1 caret n beta underscore k i underscore i alpha underscore k 5 p t and equals sum underscore k equals 1 caret n beta underscore k left e caret alpha underscore k sum underscore j equals 0 caret Carrot N P one F underscore I carrot J zero sum underscore J equals zero carrot N P one F underscore I carrot J alpha underscore K right five P T and equals left sum underscore J equals zero carrot N P one F underscore I carrot J zero right left sum underscore K equals one carrot N beta underscore K E carrot alpha Alpha underscore K right sum underscore K equals one carrot N sum underscore J equals zero carrot N P one beta underscore K F underscore I carrot J alpha underscore K five P T and equals sum underscore K equals one carrot N sum underscore J equals zero carrot N P one beta underscore K F underscore I carrot J alpha underscore K end aligned in the last line we assumed that the conclusion of the lemma is false. In order to complete the proof we need to reach a contradiction. We will do so by estimating J one J N display style J underscore one C D O T S J underscore N in two different ways. First F I J alpha K display style F underscore I carrot J alpha underscore K is an algebraic integer which is divisible by P for J P display style J G E Q P and vanishes for J P display style J unless J equals P minus one display style J equals P one and J equals I display style J equals I in which case it equals N P P minus one K does not equal I alpha I minus alpha K P display style L carrot N P P one prod underscore K N E Q I alpha underscore I alpha underscore K carrot P. This is not divisible by P when P is large enough because otherwise putting delta I equals K does not equal I alpha I minus alpha K display style delta underscore I equals prod underscore K n e q i l alpha underscore I l alpha underscore K which is a non-zero algebraic integer and calling D I Element of Z display style d underscore i in math b z the product of its conjugates, which is still non-zero. We would get that p divides p p minus one d i p display style l caret p p1 d underscore i caret p which is false so j i display style j underscore i is a non zero algebraic integer divisible by p minus 1 now j i equals minus J equals zero N P minus one T equals one R C T F I J alpha N T 
minus 1 plus 1 plus plus f i j alpha n t display style j underscore i equals sum underscore j equals 0 caret n p 1 sum underscore t equals 1 caret r c t left f underscore i caret j alpha underscore n underscore t 1 plus 1 plus c d o t s plus f underscore i caret j alpha underscore n underscore t right since each f i x display style f underscore i x is obtained by dividing a fixed polynomial with integer coefficients by x minus alpha i display style x alpha underscore i it is of the form f i x equals m equals 0 n p minus 1 g m alpha i x m Display style f underscore i x equals sum underscore m equals zero caret n p one g underscore m alpha underscore i x caret m, where g m display style g underscore m is a polynomial with integer coefficients independent of i. The same holds for the derivatives f i j x display style f underscore i caret j x hence by the fundamental theorem of symmetric polynomials f i j alpha n t minus 1 plus 1 plus plus f i j alpha n t display style f underscore i caret j alpha underscore n underscore t one plus one plus c d o t s plus f underscore i caret j alpha underscore n underscore t is a fixed polynomial with rational coefficients evaluated in alpha i display style alpha underscore i this is seen by grouping the same powers of alpha n t minus 1 plus 1 alpha n T display style alpha underscore n underscore t one plus one dots alpha underscore n underscore t appearing in t he expansion and using the fact that these algebraic numbers are a complete set of conjugates so the same is true of j i display style j underscore i i.e. it equals g alpha i display style g alpha underscore i where g is a polynomial with rational coefficients independent of i finally j 1 j n equals g alpha one G alpha N 
Display style J underscore one C D O T S J underscore N equals G alpha underscore one C D O T S G alpha underscore N is rational again by the fundamental theorem of symmetric polynomials and is a non zero algebraic integer divisible by P minus one N Display style p one caret n. Since the j i display style j underscore i s are algebraic integers divisible by p minus one display style p one. Therefore, j one j N P minus one N display style J underscore one C D O T S J underscore N G E Q P one carrot N. However, one clearly has I I alpha K alpha K E alpha K F I alpha K display style I underscore I alpha underscore K L E Q alpha underscore K E carrot alpha underscore K F underscore I alpha underscore K where phi is the polynomial whose coefficients are the absolute values of those of phi, this follows directly from the definition of i i s display style i underscore i s. Thus, j i k equals one n beta k alpha k e alpha k f i alpha k display style j underscore i l e q sum underscore k equals one caret n left beta underscore k alpha underscore k right e caret alpha underscore k f underscore i left left alpha underscore k right right and so by the construction of the f i display style f underscore i S we have J one J N C P Displaystyle J underscore one C D O T S J underscore N L E Q C carrot P for a sufficiently large C independent of P, which contradicts the previous inequality. This proves lemma A. Proof of lemma B, assuming B one E gamma one plus plus B N E gamma N equals zero Display style b one e caret gamma one plus c d o t s plus b n e caret gamma n equals zero. We will derive a contradiction, thus proving lemma b. Let us choose a polynomial with integer coefficients which vanishes on all the gamma k. Display style gamma k s and let gamma one gamma n gamma n plus one gamma n display style gamma one l dots gamma n gamma n plus one l dots gamma n be all its distinct roots. 
Let B n plus one. Topic. B n equals zero. The polynomial P x one x n equals sigma element of S n B one x sigma one plus plus B n x sigma n display style p x underscore one dots x underscore n equals prod underscore sigma in s underscore n b one x underscore sigma one plus c d o t s plus b n x underscore sigma n vanishes at e gamma one e gamma n display style e caret gamma 1 dots e caret gamma n by assumption since the product is symmetric for any tau element of s n display style tau in s underscore n the monomials x tau 1 h 1 x tau n h n display style x underscore tau 1 caret h underscore 1 c d o t s x underscore tau n caret h underscore n and x 1 h 1 x n h n display style x underscore 1 caret h underscore 1 c d o t s x underscore n caret h underscore n have the same coefficient in the expansion of p thus expanding p e gamma 1 e gamma n display style p e caret gamma 1 dots e caret gamma n accordingly and grouping the terms with the same exponent we see that the resulting exponents h 1 gamma 1 plus plus h n gamma n display style h underscore 1 gamma 1 plus dots plus h underscore n gamma n form a complete set of conjugates and if two terms have conjugate exponents they are multiplied by the same coefficient so we are in the situation of lemma a to reach a contradiction it suffices to see that at least one of the coefficients is non zero this is seen by equipping C with the lexicographic order and by choosing for each factor in the product the term with non-zero coefficient which has maximum exponent according to this ordering, the product of these terms has non-zero coefficient in the expansion and does not get simplified by any other term. This proves lemma B. Final step. We turn now to prove the theorem. Let a one a n be non-zero algebraic numbers and alpha one alpha n distinct algebraic numbers. Then let us assume that a one e alpha one plus plus a n e alpha n equals 
zero. Display style a one e carrot alpha one plus c d o t s plus a n e carrot alpha n equals zero. We will show that this leads to contradiction and thus prove the theorem. The proof is very similar to that of lemma b, except that this time the choices are made over the a i s for every i element of one. N a i is algebraic, so it is a root of an irreducible polynomial with integer coefficients of degree d i. Let us denote the distinct roots of this polynomial a i one a i d i with a i one equals a i. Let S be the functions sigma which choose one element from each of the sequences one d one one. D two one D N so that for every one I N, sigma I is an integer between one and D I. We form the polynomial in the variables X eleven X one D one X N one X N D N Y one Y N Display style x underscore eleven dots x underscore one d one dots x underscore n one dots x underscore n d n y underscore one dots y underscore n q X eleven X N D N Y one Y N equals Sigma element of S X one Sigma one Y one plus plus x n sigma n y n Display style q x underscore eleven dots x underscore n d n y underscore one dots y underscore n equals prod no limits underscore sigma in s left x underscore one sigma one y underscore one plus dots plus x underscore n sigma n y underscore n right since the product is over all the possible choice functions sigma q is symmetric in x i 1 x i d i display style x underscore i 1 dots x underscore id i for every i Therefore Q is a polynomial with integer coefficients in elementary symmetric polynomials of the above variables, for every i, and in the variables y. Each of the latter symmetric polynomials is a rational number when evaluated in a i i a i d i Display style a i underscore i dots a i underscore d i. The evaluated polynomial q a one one a n d n e alpha one e Alpha N Display style Q A one underscore one dots A N underscore D N E carrot alpha one dots E carrot alpha N vanishes because one of the choices is just sigma I equals one for all I, for which the corresponding factor vanishes according to our assumption above. 
Thus, the evaluated polynomial is a sum of the form b one e beta one plus b two e beta two plus plus b n e beta n equals zero Display style b one e caret beta one plus b two e caret beta two plus c d o t s plus b n e caret beta n equals zero, where we already grouped the terms with the same exponent. So in the left hand side we have distinct values beta one beta n each of which is still algebraic being a sum of algebraic numbers and coefficients b 1 b n element of q display style b 1 dots b n in math b q the sum is non trivial if alpha i Display style alpha i is maximal in the lexicographic order. The coefficient of e s alpha i display style e caret s alpha i is just a product of a i j's with possible repetitions, which is non-zero. By multiplying the equation with an appropriate integer factor, we get an identical equation except that now b 1 b n are all integers. Therefore, according to lemma b, the equality cannot hold, and we are led to a contradiction which completes the proof. Note that lemma a is sufficient to prove that e is irrational, since otherwise we may write e equals p q where both p and q are non-zero integers but by lemma a we would have q e minus p does not equal 0 which is a contradiction lemma a also suffices to prove that pi is irrational since otherwise we may write pi equals k n where both k and n are integers and then plus or minus i pi are the roots of n 2 x 2 plus k 2 Topic zero, thus two minus one minus one two e zero plus a pi plus e minus i pi does not equal zero, but this is false. Similarly, lemma b is sufficient to prove that e is transcendental, since lemma b says that if a zero and air integers not all of which are zero, then a n e n plus plus a zero e zero does not equal zero. Display style a underscore n e caret n plus c d o t s plus a underscore zero e caret zero n e q zero Lemma b also suffices to prove that pi is transcendental, since otherwise we would have 1 plus a pi does not equal 0. See also Gelfand-Schneider theorem Baker's theorem, an extension of Gelfand-Schneider theorem Chanuel's conjecture, if proven, it would imply both the Gelfand-Schneider theorem and the Lindemann-Weierstrass theorem. <laughs> Notes <laughs>